Good morning, friends. <laughs> a very bright and early good morning to everyone. Tyson and I are very excited today because we're going to go on an epic adventure. Hey, Dad. So we're currently packing up the evening before because we're going to wake up super early. It's kind of a mess right now as we attempt to get things organized. <clears throat> we're going to have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I hope we can do this. I last left you in Branson, Missouri, celebrating the fall festivities and exploring Silver Dollar City. Since then, I came back to base camp so that I could finally take my car in for repairs from my accident over the summer. Before hitting the road on my own again, I decided to go on a short vacation to Northern California with my parents and their big camper van. I knew it would most likely be pretty chaotic, three people, one dog, one van, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity for an adventure. My dad and I switch places. I'm behind the wheel now. It's my first time driving a big van like this. We'll see how it goes. We drove about 10 hours to Bodega Bay and booked five nights at a campground in Doran Regional Park, which is located between Bodega Harbor and Doran Beach Road. This campground features sites for tents, trailers, and RVs, and there are so many amenities that they offer, including restrooms, showers, potable water, and even dump stations. I believe this site cost about $37 a night, which is not bad considering that it's right on the beach and there's a boat launch and there's direct access to a jetty, which is where we went crabbing. Today is Sunday, so it looks like all the people that were camped here for the weekend are clearing out this morning. So the campground's pretty empty right now. I'll take you guys around and show you what this campground looks like. Hi, Mom. Tyson, what are you doing? Tyson, come here. Good boy. 
My parents are early morning risers. They were up by like 6 a.m. My dad immediately went to the jetty to go fishing and I didn't actually climb out of bed until nine. <laughs> Night one wasn't too bad. I slept in the pop top in my parents' van and it was actually really cozy. Normally I wouldn't stay at these paid campgrounds but because I'm here with my parents, it just made sense to, to book a couple nights here. This is one of those campgrounds where like this, the, the spaces are super close to each other and like out of all the campgrounds I've been to, I would say this is the one that's the most like packed in. And everybody here has like pretty big RVs so it just feels a little bit more crowded. But overall, I mean like anywhere that has a bathroom and a shower and flushable toilets. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I believe this is where we are right now in Doran Regional Park. This whole area is the Bodega Bay and we're camped somewhere here. But I think there's lots of campgrounds up the lo along the beach. I think the parts in the middle are tent sites only because there's a parking lot right here where like tent campers can park their car and then all these spots are like walkable. It's a pretty standard campsite like you have the um, fire ring over there and then a picnic table and then I think over here a spot to pitch up your tent and stuff. That's us over there. <laughs> Tyson. Okay, looks like my parents took down the uh, pop top. I think we're moving spots today because last night we got in late, so we took an empty spot that they have happened to have. But my dad came back from crabbing and he said that there is already stuff in here. Oh my goodness. How many did you catch? He caught seven crabs in two and a half hours. What kind of crabs are these? What kind of crab? It's uh, one red crab and the other are rock crabs. Red okay. and rock. These are red and rock crabs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Go back. Go back. Oh my gosh. Go back. Go back. These are all female. They are? Yeah. See, you know you know how to tell? How? This is circle. More like a circle. It's it's female. If it's like this, it's male. So this is female. Oh. Yeah. Did you get any male? I don't have. Yeah, I, I didn't get any male. Thank you. 
really cool thing about this place is that they have um, like near the boat ramp area they also have like a little station for cleaning like fish or crabs or whatever it is you catch so we came over here and my dad's washing the crabs that he just caught yeah easily ah! oh sorry Turns out, <laughs> the crabs bite back. Apparently, one of them like hooked his claw into my dad's thumb. So, don't worry, he's fine. There's no blood or anything, but it was really funny. <laughs> oh, wrong place. I was gonna say. So I attempted to go get firewood, but um, the camp post isn't there, so. I came back and my mom started cooking the crab already, so let's check it out. Open it? Yeah. Wow. Cool, looks yummy, smells delicious. Oh, there's three over here. Oh, there's one right here. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see that. It's just <laughs> staring at you. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many of them. Yeah. yeah, they're just chilling. Yeah. They're just chilling. Okay, so we just drove down to the jetty, and as you can see here, there's where there, you can see both of them. There's the south jetty and the north jetty, and then right across the bay, there's a we can kind of see their campground that we were staying at. I was running to catch up with my parents and my foot, my shoe came off in the sand because it just like captured my whole shoe. <laughs> mm. It's so beautiful here. Okay, so, as I said earlier, the jetty is out back there, but obviously the tide's a little high right now, so there's just so much water over here. We're actually gonna come back in a few hours when the tide is lower, and all this water should be like w further back, and then that way we can reach the jetty over there. But my dad said that um, with the low tide, we should be able to find some mussels here, which, um, 
I don't know what the limit is on how much we can take, but we were talking to one of the camp hosts and said, yeah, it's in season. We can go and pick up as many mussels as we want, I think. So hopefully we'll find some later tonight. <laughs> okay, so it is currently about six o'clock. As you can see, it's like pitch dark right now. <laughs> so my dad and I are gonna climb down to the beach to see if the tides are low enough so that we can try to look for mussels. I don't know if we're gonna find any, but let's take a look. Okay. If you guys can hear that beeping, like kind of like alarm in the background, I think that's the lighthouse and it goes off repeatedly every single night, which makes sleeping here really difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah they move. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. <laughs> If anybody knows what these are, please leave a note in the comments. Maybe you guys have any idea what this is. I thought it was just rocks at first, but I mean, my dad's been poking them and they kind of move. Well, it doesn't look like there are any mussels here, but um, the tide did go down a little bit, so we're just sort of poking at some holes to see if we find any crabs or something. Is that a cave? That's not creepy at all. What are you doing? Don't go in the cave. And of course, she's gonna continue going into the cave. Should I go into the cave? <laughs> it's a nothing. Yeah? Oh, I'm sinking. Wow. Super eerie. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Okay, looks like, does it keep going or is it just, yeah. I think it does keep going, but the hole is so tiny and I'm not about to get down on my hands and knees to go looking. Bye. 